Luke, let's start with the end of the season. You end up having surgery for core muscle injuries. How are you feeling right now? Yeah, uh, everything's actually pretty good. Today marks the sixth week of the surgery, and I'm done with my rehab. So pretty much now it's just progressions into, uh, you know, lifting heavier. You know, you know, I'm already doing speed work. I've, I've already started hitting and everything. So I'm hoping by Christmas time I'll be uh, – 100% ready to go back into like full strength of, you know, pretty much all my baseball activities and, you know, working out and um, but everything's been good, man. Just, just ready to, uh, you know, have a fresh start after, you know, last year kind of ended salty for me. So, um, but yeah, everything's trending the right way. Yeah, you ended the season one for your last 32. And I have to ask you in retrospect, how much did the injury impact you in the batter's box? Well, I, you know, I don't want to make excuses, but, you know, for the last probably two to three months, you know, pretty much the second half after that thing in London, I was fighting through it. And, um, you know, it was one of those things where they told me, you know, just rehab it, everything's going to get better. And I just couldn't get over that hump. I just, and I, you know, probably wasn't the most truthful in telling them that, you know, everything was hurting down there. But, you know, there was another time we were playing in Arizona that I just took myself out of the game. I couldn't deal with it anymore. And, um, you know, ended up, you know, getting surgery and, you know, two, three days after the season and the, you know, specialist out of Philadelphia, Dr. Myers, you know, told me down there that everything was torn and I had to get, you know, both sides re uh, repaired and, you know, he's done an unbelievable job and there's been a bunch of guys that went to him and, you know, I'm excited to see, you know, how it uh, all works out because I'm right. I want to get down to spring training again and, you know, you know, get back out after, you know, obviously Houston knocked us out last year. I remember having a conversation with you in August where you were still dealing with the issue and you said, listen, this team is doing special things. I want to be part of it. What did you learn from this injury situation? What did you learn about how you might handle things the next time you have something similar? Yeah, I just, I, I'm, I'm kind of thick-headed when it comes to that. And, you know, I, uh, I wanted to play, and I'm a competitor, and I, I wanted to be out there with the guys, and it was so close to playoffs, and, you know, September baseball, and we were, you know, trying to have the best record, and, you know, obviously won the World Series, so I didn't want to miss that, but, you know, when you're not 100%, this game is already hard enough, and you're putting more pressure on it, and then, you know, stuff wasn't going my way, and it just got worse, and I wasn't myself, and, you know, you get in your head about it, and you, you start making excuses almost for yourself, and, you know, I just went to a bad place, and, you know, obviously I was fighting through it, and, um, you know, they had to make tough decisions at the end, and, you know, I, eventually I didn't make the playoff roster for the second round just because I wasn't myself. And, you know, I, I get it, and it's a business decision, but, you know, at the end of the day, um, <clears throat> I, I understand it. So it's, I don't know, it's it's difficult, and a lot of guys go through it, but I think the next time something happens like this, i got to make sure I'm 100% when I come back and not, you know, 70, 75 percent like I was. You mentioned that difficult decision the Yankees made in leaving you off the ALCS roster. You were as vital as any player in the lineup through the end of June. Pick any stat and you were near the top of the charts of AL first baseman. How much did it sting to get the word from the Yankees that you wouldn't be part of the ALCS roster? Oh, I mean, it's the worst, especially being around the guys all year. Um, it's super frustrating. And, but, you know, I... I'm a team player and